So it's been about a year since I've started trying to learn to understand and to invest in this emerging tech called the blockchain and how it actually shaped the future of gaming. And along that journey, I've accumulated my share of battle scars. In other words, I've fucked up a lot. So in today's video, I'm going to share my five biggest mistakes that I've made throughout this journey to hopefully help those of you out there from avoiding making those same mistakes as well. And maybe you're a veteran in the space, you can just go ahead and laugh at my misery because let me tell you, these are some pretty silly and embarrassing mistakes that I've made. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm the nerdy one and this is the channel where I use video games to make sense of the blockchain. Now I know that the blockchain space is actually a really, really scary one to be a part of. I mean, it's really no secret that people think that the blockchain is a scam. There's a lot of hacks going on. So people are really off put by the blockchain, by crypto, even though the technology is something that is really, really interesting. So today's video, I'm not trying to solve any problems or teach you guys anything. This is simply a way for me to journal, to share my most embarrassing and biggest mistakes that I've made throughout my one year journey trying to understand this whole crypto blockchain gaming space. So before I start embarrassing myself, go ahead and smash that like button to show me some support and let's get into this video. So let's start off with mistake number one, which is how I lost about $2,000 worth of Ethereum on a YouTube live scam. I know, super embarrassing, as well as the one that was most heartbreaking to me. So the story really goes was that when I first started trying to understand the blockchain gaming space, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos to learn about Ethereum, you know, to learn about Bitcoin, all that kind of stuff. And during one of these sessions, I was recommended a YouTube live video, something titled like Vitalik is giving away free Ethereum. I know, right? It sounds so scammy, but at that time, as a newbie, I did not see this at all. So long story short, I clicked the link and I ended up sending about 1.5 Ethereum to this random address with the hopes that I'm going to receive the same amount back and more. I know, really, really embarrassing and really dumb of me. So I hope you don't make the same mistake as me. And even though 0.5 Ethereum wasn't that much to many of you, to me, someone who is just starting off in the space, so optimistic, you know, so excited about learning, to actually lose that money right off the bat, it was so painful for me. I still remember it to this day where after I sent it and the whole timer, there was this timer where they say that after the timer runs out, they actually send back the Ethereum to you. And it ran out and I started to realize like, oh my God, this is a scam. I just got scammed. And I remember telling my wife who actually was so supportive of me, who trusted me with this money to actually invest, to learn. And I told her that I lost it. Right? I lost it and this was just me trying to learn about it. I didn't even really start investing just yet. And I remember at that time that I swore to myself that no more, I'm going to make sure I learned this properly, that I'm gonna make back that money that I just lost and I'm gonna make way more than that. And that was really the start of my whole Web3 journey. And now let's get into mistake number two, which is the story of Pixelmon. Now, this one here is particularly painful for me because not only did I lose money investing in this project, but I actually got some family and members and friends to trust me and they lost money as well and up to this day it still hurts me to think about it but how the story essentially went is that I was getting my ego pretty inflated at the time of early 22 you know NFTs were going crazy people were making tons of money and I stumbled upon this really interesting project you know it was called Pixamon and Pixamon was building this Minecraft like world with dragons and whatnot and I knew that Minecraft was a huge freaking deal. So I kind of bought into the whole vision that this video game is going to be really successful. The NFTs are going to sell for a lot of money. So what I did was that I told all my family members, I told all my friends about it, how great it would be, how much money they can possibly make. Even though I kind of added the risks and whatnot, I was really enthusiastic about it. And long story short though, that didn't work out so well. Apparently the people working for Pixamon didn't have a game working at all. And the prices of their assets were really just really, really badly drawn models. And it was such a terrible feeling because I really trusted that the project was going to be good and I actually passed on this trust to other people. So not only did I get hurt, but I actually deteriorated the trust that I had in other people and actually put them off about the blockchain gaming space. So that was a really, really painful one for me to personally deal with. And after that, I was hurting for quite a while. I actually made a vow to myself that I'm going to take researching projects, researching this whole blockchain gaming space a lot more seriously. And you know, since then I've learned a ton and I even released a video up here which I'll be linking at the end of this video on what NFTs are and how they will actually change the future of gaming. I do recommend you check this out if you're new to the space so that you understand the tech, understand what is it that we are pursuing and not just blindly throw your money at things like I did a year ago. So here is mistake number three, which is how I lost a lot of money investing in metaverse cryptocurrencies. Now, I want to clearly state, however, that I'm a huge fan and huge believer of the blockchain gaming space 
place. However, the way that I invested actually wasn't very smart and I'm going to share that story to you. So when I was trying to learn about the blockchain gaming space, I came across really, really cool gaming projects. Projects such as Wilder Worlds and Ciders and Star Atlas, all these really cool metaverse gaming projects. And I just thought that, hey, this is the future of gaming is happening right now. I cannot wait. And I started buying all these different cryptocurrencies. But what I didn't realize was that the real winners, the people that made a lot of money actually started investing in this project like months and even a whole year ago. And I was actually the ones that were investing at the top. So while I thought that I was having a good investment strategy, I was actually going to DCA, I was going to buy at these certain levels. I didn't realize that everything was so overinflated. I didn't understand my strategy to its core. I simply just picked out a bunch of different projects and called that my strategy for investing. And that there wasn't very smart. So what I did learn was that in the future, I would take it a lot more seriously to understand the whole economics of stuff, to be more strategic with how I deploy my capital. And that there is the lesson that I could at least learn from mistake number three. Now, if you're enjoying my misery up to this point, please go ahead and smash that like button as well as subscribe to my channel. I promise I am not such a downer in most of my videos. This is really for me to be more transparent with all the harshness that I've went through throughout my journey so that I can actually deliver good content to you guys. So make sure you smash that like button and let's get back into the video. Now moving on to mistake number four. It's a pretty generalized one but I think is something worth saying was that I did not take profits on my winnings. Specifically, I didn't take profits on NFTs, on pictures that were worth thousands of dollars. We're talking about four or $5,000 when I initially invested like three, four hundred dollars in them and I actually thought that they were going to be worth way more than it did. Well, that didn't work out so well for me. I don't really want to FUD any projects so I'm not going to name anything in particular but I do want to say that I'm still a fan of these projects. However, I don't really think that being a fan or being a believer in these projects means that you should hold it all the way up and not sell it but instead maybe you should just sell it at the top when it's over evaluated and actually buy it back again when the price starts to stabilize. Anyway, that's kind of a belief system that I had to go through but what was really painful was that my wife specifically told me that you should probably be taking a lot more profits because all this hype is really sounding a little too crazy, too exciting and it doesn't really make any sense but in that moment, I was completely buying in into NFTs already happening right now that this is the future and I didn't really want to sell any of my JPEGs, any of my NFTs even though it made sense to do so and this was mostly driven by emotions, by greed because I wanted to make more, I wanted that money value to keep on rising even though it has risen so much already even though I was lucky to take profits on some of my NFTs on some of my investments I definitely could have done a lot better for myself so here we are at reason number five and this is really the core of why I made all these different mistakes which is I simply was investing in blockchain technology solely because I wanted to make money in this space and that there was my huge mistake you see when I was motivated by money I was wasn't really paying attention to the long-term view, the long-term vision of how I'll be strategizing myself. I was thinking very short-term, you know, to buy this asset, hopefully it'll make money, I'll sell it and make money there. And that really wasn't the way to think about it because in the blockchain gaming space, in the cryptocurrency space, you really have to think long-term. It's about consistency, being strategic. It's not about being lucky. All the stories where you hear that people are making a ton of money, well, those are really far and few in between. For the average investor, the average person trying to understand and blockchain technology, it is really a long, tedious road and a lot of lessons you have to go through to actually make it in cryptocurrency land. So what really helped me to think more long term was when I went back to the roots, the reason why I started gaining interest in the blockchain gaming space for the first time. And yes, I admitted that it was because of money, but it was because of my love for video games. And that there, when I actually discovered that that was my passion, that was my focus, actually trying to learn and understand became a lot more engaging and a lot easier for me. So ever since then, I've been a little less focused on the money, but more on trying to understand understand the space to see where I can give value, where I can be an expert in. And that led to me actually starting off this YouTube channel to actually gain more awareness, more experience on how I'm going to be positioning myself for this whole future of gaming. And that change right there 
that actually helped clear out all that mental blocks regarding all the time I've wasted, money I've actually spent to understand this space, to understand that this is the path, this is part of the journey of me trying to understand and play my role in the growth of blockchain gaming. So that's about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because next week, I'm thinking that I'll go ahead and follow up this download of video this week with the five biggest lessons that I've learned since being one year in this whole blockchain cryptocurrency land. I mean, it's absolutely crazy space and I definitely want to educate as many of you as possible so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. I know how painful it was to make all these mistakes and I would not wish this on anyone else. So I do hope that I can make a difference to all you new people who are getting into the blockchain gaming space. And don't forget to check out this video over here on NFTs and how it will play a role in the future of gaming. So until the very next one, take care, much love and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.